Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to work with graphical uh, settings and options in Revit and how to present your projects in a nice graphical way, um, how to present your uh, drawings and 3D pictures and um, this is the result that I'm going to show you how to achieve it. Uh, this detail level when you have only black walls um, and uh, maybe a little bit uh, small shadows uh, or something like that where you have different materials for for your floors uh, maybe color for your furniture and also I'm gonna show you how to make uh, 3d pictures close to rendering appearance without using uh, without consuming any time for rendering because uh, sometimes if you don't have any time for rendering you can just use uh, you can just present your project with pictures like that and um, let's start with plants open a project today I'm gonna use via template common house but you can use whatever project you you have uh, open a plan which you want to present and normally on plans you don't want to show all the layers of the walls and so on so you just click on walls edit type under properties and here you have section called graphics and fill pattern and fill color under fill pattern you have to choose solid fill and under fill color you can choose whatever color you would like uh, let's choose black and then apply and OK but as you noticed nothing happened because under detail level you have to choose from fine uh, you have to go from fine or medium to coarse and uh, that's how we we can make uh, walls looking uh, having this black fill solid pattern. If you want to have uh, shadows on the picture, uh, under graphic display options you have to choose click on cast shadows and then apply and here you can see that uh, you can have uh, shadows whatever you like maybe it's a little bit too strong you can always change the um, strength of shadows and make them softer um, you can also change uh, sun um, how strong sun shines mm -hmm. you can also manipulate with sun position and make uh, shorter shadows or longer shadows by changing sun settings over here and just giving different date and different time so now you can see that shadows go to the left instead of to the right if you want to have um, uh, if you want to display materials different materials that you are using for different different floors you basically just choose um, realistic display instead of hidden lines and suddenly you have wooden floor for a common room and some tiles for different uh, rooms so this is how you manipulate uh, graphical uh, settings for plants and now I'll show you how to get a 3d picture without rendering first of all you want to place camera and get a nice 3D view. Just make it bigger so you have more surroundings. Um, here under display visual style you, you have to choose realistic which shows you the materials you're using for, for uh, uh, for the walls and for the roof and so on um, under under graphical display options uh, choose cast shadows and apply yeah 
you might not be satisfied with shadows you get for example I'm, I don't really like the, this facade which is all in shadow and this you can change again uh, from here either from default sun settings top right top left just try different options still uh, I'm not satisfied with the result uh, so you can just try uh, changing manually changing the date and the time maybe early morning no it was better maybe so maybe this is uh, this is okay result press okay if you go back to graphic uh, display options here you have background option where you can uh, choose gradient try to apply it and see that instantly the color of the sky changes here you can choose different colors uh, whatever you want let's just choose some purple and yellow combination apply it and suddenly you have this uh, evening sky with the dr dramatic evening sky with red and yellow and of course you can uh, change colors whatever you like and cha and uh, play around with some positions uh, in order to get sunny sunny facades you can also make sun stronger here and then you get a brighter picture and uh, make softer shadows like that yeah so this is how you can present 3D pictures without spending any time uh, on rendering. You can apply same principles for elevations or sections, giving some uh, color, some shadows, some light. This was the ending of the second part and on the third part I'm going to talk about uh, rendering interior and how to simulate light.